Nobody wants their desktop to crash, but sometimes it just happens. Software is complex, desktop environments especially so. Now the topic of session restoration, so your desktop crashes or it closes and bringing everything back is a fairly complex one. And the way it works under X11 and the way it works under Wayland is very, very different. And whilst not being a complete solution, one more piece of the puzzle is likely going to see its merger in Upstream because now there is a merger in GNOME. Implement XDG Session Management Wayland Protocol. In the GNOME project, this was opened three months ago. There is a much, um longer history to it than that. We'll get to that in just a second. Now the TLDR version of this protocol is it allows the window sizes and window positions to be remembered. So if the compositor crashes, whilst it won't remember the contents of those windows, it'll be up to the application to restore that itself in things like Firefox, you can restore tabs. In a lot of text editors, you can restore the text. In video editors, same thing, but it'll retain where the window was and how big the window was and then combine that with a system to restore the windows with that data. And you basically have most of what you want for a crash restoration system. Now, whilst being in the code base in GNOME 47, it's not actually going to be enabled until GNOME 48. The reason for that is very simple. It was approved for merger a week ago and, um, we're a little bit close to GNOME 47 to be making such a big change and there's not exactly time to, you know, test it, make sure it's working exactly like it should, whether it's causing unintended side effects, things like that, so it can be pushed back to the next version so there's, you know, time to do those things. Now this is one of those Wayland protocols that has existed in an unmerged state for just frankly way too long. This was opened in the Wayland protocols repo four years ago by Jonas Adal, who is one of the GNOME people. So it's not one of those things where, look, oh, a GNOME person didn't like and it didn't get merged. No, no, GNOME's been on board with this from the very start. But it actually dates back even further than that. Going back to a mailing list post back in 2018 by Mike Blumenkrantz, a member of Samsung, along with Jonas as well. For a variety of cases, it's desirable to have a method for negotiating the restoration of previously used states for a client's windows. This helps for e.g. a compositor slash client crashing or a background client deciding to temporarily destroy its services in order to conserve resources. This protocol adds a method for managing such negotiation and is loosely based on the Enlightenment Session Recovery Protocol, which has been implemented and functional for roughly two years. So this goes back even further to about 2016 when Enlightenment had this. This is a nearly eight year old protocol at this point that is still sitting here in an open state. I know things have been moving a little bit quicker recently, seeing things go on for like, you know, a year, six months, even one down to three months, and that is really nice, but never, never, never forget that there is a long history of Wayland and still some protocols today which are in this effectively very stalled state. But unlike many of the others we've discussed, it is stalled for a very different state. It hasn't been, you know, four years or eight years of bike shedding. Actually, the exact opposite happened. So there were initially some concerns regarding documentation, you know, spelling mistakes, other grammatical mistakes, things like that. Some minor issues regarding the way the protocol actually worked. And those pretty much all just got resolved. But then the important thing happened. Everyone kind of just forgot about the protocol and some random person was like, ping? Now, please don't go and ping random repos, but in this case, nobody disagreed with the protocol. It's just people had other things to do. Following that, there were some more comments. There was some more criticism, most of it fairly reasonable. Like, this is one of those protocols where even though there is a bit of discussion, there wasn't, like, a lot of bike shedding. It was just people generally agreeing, like, yeah, this should be improved. Yeah, that should be improved. And then once again... <laughs> It got to a point where 
it just kind of stopped for a bit, and Simon was basically like, Hey, Ping, does anybody else want to work on this? This is one of those rare cases where people just worked on the protocol. They reached amicable conclusions, and it seemed like it was just gonna get merged. Like, nobody had an issue with the protocol, but four years on, it is still in this open state. And scrolling down to way past all of these comments, and as of a month ago, this is the state that things were in. So they require three implementations. They have Kwin, Mutter, and GTK. Now technically, Mutter and GTK are the same voting member because GTK is the GNOME toolkit, but you have three implementations, but neither of these projects, even though they have the code here, and they've had implementations for quite a while, and there's actually another implementation now from SDL. <laughs> no one has acted the protocol, so everybody agrees enough to implement the protocol. GNOME has agreed enough to merge the protocol. And nobody has acted the protocol. This might possibly be the dumbest reason I've ever seen a protocol be stalled. I get it when there's bike shedding. I get it when there's people arguing about actual legitimate problems. I get when nobody is interested in the protocol except maybe one party. Reasonable. But everybody agrees the protocol is good enough to implement. How? How does this happen? Now, as of today, there is some new discussion from Jonas. We've included a draft version of the protocol in GNOME 47, only the compositor side, where the intention is to make it easier to experiment with the client side of things. Makes sense. Does that mean there's something in place for the rest of the story? Actually relaunching the app again and telling it which session to use. There is a GTK merge request that is still open that makes use of it. There is some G application level experiments with a higher level session management functionality that would be nice to hook up to. But for now, the work in the link GTK branch is only about the window management part of it all. Why is it not act? Somebody, somebody with voting privileges, act the protocol already. As you can see here, they require three implementations. They have four. They require three acts. They have three members who could act it. They require a review. Now, we can have the acts, and then the review can be done after that. Like, that's totally fine. There are a ton of protocols that have been in that state. Things can be done after the acts have been done. Like, that's not, like, a guarantee it's gonna be merged tomorrow. Now, KDE, or I guess technically KWIN, is one of the projects that does have an implementation of this protocol. Theirs is still sitting open, but they also have this very long-running open issue. C slash restore session doesn't work under Wayland. The comments of this are an absolute mess of people replying to things that don't matter. There is a lot of comments hidden as spam. Every time someone comments on this, their email is added into a mailing list, so every new person that makes a comment sends out an email to everybody else, leading to those people commenting again, and, um, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> this, <laughs> this tends to happen. Now, what KDE does have and has had for quite a while is known as basically a fake session restore. Reopen running apps on startup, which for the most part, is basically what people actually want. Upon relogging, the windows you had open are just reopened, right? Like, that effectively is what people want from a session restore. You combine that with the position and the size of the window, and basically, you're done anyway. And again, like earlier, any windows that want to restore their content they are basically responsible for doing so. So again, your browser, text editor, video editor, things of that nature. Now, there were some issues with this system during the 6.1 saga, and as of 6.2, this should be working as expected. Now, whilst this does the job, 
it is not the full session restore that is a much more complex issue that we have talked about in the past. This was a project that David Edmondson was working on for quite a while, and this would require support from the toolkits, from Mesa, from X Whalen, and a bunch of other little pieces to make it all just fit together. The goal in this case was not just reopening applications, but opening them back up in the state they were previously in. And not technically opening them back up, but if your desktop crashes, disconnecting the applications from the desktop. Previously, in the very, very old days of using X11, this is how X11 would work. If your X11 server crashed, your X11 applications would be totally fine, and you could just restart the server and reconnect them back up. Nowadays, because we run X11 and the applications on the same system, generally a crash also brings the applications down as well, but there's no reason why that has to be like that. Now, at least judging by the information that is present here, it seems like this work is mostly stalled, or maybe there is a new approach being taken here, because this page was last updated 10 months ago, and um, I think that's probably around about when I last talked about it. So, this kind of restoration was kind of a pipe dream anyway, and isn't what most people ended up really doing needing, right? Like, it would be awesome if you restart the desktop, everything just comes back in the same state it was in. But at least having the application windows open like they should be in positions they were in, that's good enough. But let me know your thoughts down below. Is it good enough? Would you like a full proper restoration? I would like to know. So if you like the video, go like the video. And if you really like the video and you want to become one of these amazing people over here, check out the Patreon, subscribe, sleep, error, pay linked in the description down below. That's going to be it for me, and how often does your desktop crash?